Hey, it's Keith from Outlaw Speed Shop, and this is kind of a special episode. I am doing a contest, a custom die-cast Renegades and Hoodlums custom Mustang 32 car challenge. And it's going to be set up kind of like a, uh, I guess you could say drag brackets. And it's through the face group, Facebook group that we're doing that I started off my um, regular page. And it's a group of good guys. Um, it's a small group, but I put forth this challenge. The rules and guidelines. Casting must be a Hot Wheels 164 scale Mustang any year. Manufacturer any year body style. Mustang must be the main focus of the casting. But you can do what you want with it. It could be a dragster, gas land, street machine, classic, whatever. All cars will be assigned a number from 1 to 32 based on how they are received. No names will be mentioned during this contest. To keep it fair, and all participants are not supposed to share with anyone until after the contest, so nobody knows whose is whose. Uh, I am not entering. Cars will be separated into the two brackets, evens versus odds. And there's no other way to be fair, really, than that, um, based on how they come in. This will be a typical drag bracket, as I said. Winners advancing to the next round on each side. Um, each round, I will have a video, and people will have 48 hours to vote in the comments for that video uh, for those cars. And votes will be tallied up, and winners will move on. This will continue until the contest ends. Um, all 32 cars will be photographed and videoed the same way by me, to keep it fair. The great part is the winner gets all 32 cars and a 95% per, uh, perfect K-17 transporter generously donated by William, Mr. K-7 Robinson. This has an estimated street value of $75, and I believe it would be a killer addition to any collection. Um, the competition videos will start the first week of December, and I will have them on a separate playlist on my channel. So this car is just a um, casting I had kicking around. It was bare metal to begin with. I had stripped it down for another project and never did anything with it. So the um, the whole point of me doing this is this is a car, even though I'm not entering, um, I'm going to be giving it away as, all, as part of the package with the other 32 cars to the winner. And um, I wanted to do something. I, I kind of had something in mind. I I base a lot of how I do things on the on the actual tires and rims that I can find that'll fit. Um, unfortunately, I wanted to have a different size in the back, and that kind of created a few problems, um, mainly because the casting is so thick in the back, the it required the same size wheels, so having a larger one in the back kind of created a problem. So I had to grind away the inner fender wells, I had to grind away at the actual interior i had to make axle tubes i mean this thing it, it took a while just to do that but it's worth it because to try to get the right stance really kind of sets the car apart um, this is not the greatest casting in the world for a brand new casting it really does suck um, there's another one that's similar i could have used um, but i just kind of went with this i had it um, i just wanted to do something I had it in mind and actually I ended up completely changing the color in the end because um, a happy accident to be honest with you so after I'd stripped it I kind of took my wire brush cleaned it all out I used my um, pick to kind of clean out the lines and, and groove them out a little bit more um, there's a lot of flaws on this um, I did some sanding white surface primer is pretty much what I started with and then I wanted I wanted gray stripes or silver stripes down the center. So I I had bought this for another project. I figured I'd use it. I really like the way the uh, Tamiya paint goes on. So I painted it metallic silver. And then I'm taking my Tamiya masking tape. And this is not a paid promotion for Tamiya. I just really like their products. Um, to try to get two even <laughs> stripes down the center. Um, not Not an easy task. Um, with the bumps and ridges, especially in the hood, um, and then wrap around the hood and wrap around the tail and all that. So um, it took a little bit of time, but in the end, it was worth it. I got a nice clean seal on it, which um, I've been known to have issues with my masking. So um, a lot of patience, and it paid off in the end, thankfully. Um, but originally, I wanted to paint this black, like jet midnight black, with the silver stripes so I bought 
um, some splash paints, and I've been kind of experimenting a little bit. So this stuff's great. It's right out of the bottle. And what's funny is I started putting it on, and I wanted to put some light coats on it. And it worked out that the color, just by putting a couple light coats over the silver, um, gave it a wicked cool um, bronze type effect, which matched the silver amazingly. So I kind of stopped at that point instead of putting multiple coats and making it black. Um, and it really came out good. I'm real happy with the color. Um, detailing, I've been trying to do a little bit more, a little bit more. I actually just ordered some um, really fine tip paint pens. Um, I hope those work out. I should have them in probably tomorrow. You can kind of see the color there. Uh, but I'm also using my chrome chrome pen. A lot of times, uh, I get another one of those coming too. This tip is like a four millimeter, and it's really thick. So a lot of times I'll, I'll dab it, and then I'll use my paintbrush to paint on what I need to. Um, but yeah, I'm real happy. And again, this was just a promo, a quick video, midweek to kind of, you can see my fat ass head there. Um, but this is just kind of a quick video to announce the challenge and I'll do another one when it gets close. Um, I do have a complete list of names, but shout out to my Patreon members as always. Uh, it's greatly appreciated. Chris Smith, Joey Williams, Kristen Stanley, and Stephen Mance, William Robinson, Devil's Details, Diecast, Matchbox Garage, Alvarez's Diecast Customs, Jim Silva, One Time Pledges, Chris Stanifer, and Ed Ostrander. Ones with the YouTube icons next to their name are linked in the description down below. Please check them out. So this is what I started with. Um, actually, started with this time. <laughs> it was, I don't even remember what color it was. I think it was blue. Um, but it's been so long since I stripped it, I don't remember. And here's what I come up with. I love the color. I hope you guys do too. And I would appreciate it if you guys watch the whole way through. I get some cool pics. Um, check it out. And if you like what you see, comment down below. And I will catch you on the next one. I don't know or care who has a one. a battle, but an all-out war. I only want us going back to how we were before. But I'm just so tired of you.